Let me show you what I mean by how interactive some of our network labs can be. This is one of our network troubleshooting labs, and in this case, uh, there's some issues with the Office One computer talking to some of the other computers. It talks to some, but not others. And uh, this is the office diagram that allows you to go back and forth between computers and the different hardware views. There's also an exhibits button up here on the top right that allows you to see a network diagram that shows you how the network's connected together, gives you a little bit of an idea of what the IP address ranges are, and it also tells you uh, the building A router, which is our gateway, tells you what your gateway address is. So you get that kind of information from the exhibit, and we'll go straight into the Office One operating system here, and you'll notice down here in the right-hand corner that it shows uh, that it's not connected to the internet, so let's do a little bit of troubleshooting. The troubleshooting tools that you would typically use are available, such as ping. So we're going to go ahead and ping the gateway and see what we get. 192.168.0.5. You'll notice that it's not connected there. If I change this to, let's ping the IT admin computer. Hmm, we can talk to the IT admin computer. You see that we're getting a, a ping response there. And if we change this to Office 2, you'll notice that we don't get a response. So we can't ping the gateway, we can't ping Office 2, but we can ping IT admin. So we can talk to some computers on the network, but not others. So that kind of leads us to look at a little bit more of the configuration. So let's go ahead and right click down here on the network icon and open Network and Sharing Center. And on Network and Sharing Center, we'll select the Ethernet adapter and we can click on details and see the information that's specific to this adapter. Notice that it mentions here DHCP is not enabled. Uh, there's an IP address, kind of got a different subnet mask. And in this scenario, we're told that, that DHCP is used throughout the network. So it's a little odd that we're not using DHCP on this computer. So let's take a look at the properties in more detail. We'll go into the IP, TCP IP version four properties. And you'll notice here that there's a static IP address set. It says use this specific IP address. And we wanted to use DHCP address. And the default, or the, excuse me, the subnet mask is a little different also. So let's go ahead and tell it to use the DHCP address. And we'll tell it to get the DNS information from DHCP also. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And as soon as we click OK, the computer has now got a new IP address from DHCP. Notice it says DHCP enabled. It's got an IP address and it has a subnet mask that looks a little bit more like what we would expect. And if you look down in the right hand corner, it's immediately showing us that that the, the computer now has internet access because it's able to uh, get to the gateway. If we come back to the command prompt, let's one more time, we'll just ping the gateway so that you can see that now we have access. 192.168.0.5 and it shows that we've got connectivity with the gateway. So that is one of the cool things in the, the configuration of the computer functions exactly like a real computer would as, as if you have the network settings incorrect, it won't talk to the network and if you have the network settings correct, it will. What I'd also like to show you is the hardware aspect of this. If we go out to the actual hardware view of the computer, um, we can look at the back of the computer, and you'll notice as I that that we have a link light here. The link light tells us that there's connectivity to the network through the switch, and we get that kind of a, uh, indication that there's the network connectivity that we need. If we go to the floor one overview again back here, this gives us the office diagram, and and we can go over and look at the networking closet. And in the networking closet, we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better. There we go. So the there's a patch panel that tells us that the cables, the cable from here goes out to Office One and, and the different pieces, excuse me, the different rooms that are there. Um, this one here is Office One and you can see that it's connected up here to the switch. And on the switch, you can see that the link lights are indicating which, which switch ports have connections. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this cable. I'm gonna drag it away so that it disconnects from the switch. And what you'll see is the link light on the switch is now out. 
And if we come back to the Floor 1 overview, let's go take a look at the hardware view again of Office 1. If you remember, we looked at the back of the computer a moment ago and we had a link light. Now, because we've disconnected the cable at the, the switch in the networking closet, the link light is now out back here in Office 1. So, so the connectivity to the switch is no longer there and it's indicated by the loss of the connection light and the link light. So let's also go ahead and go back into the, the OS view. And you'll notice down here in the right-hand corner that it's showing us that we're not connected. We're not connected to the internet at all. Uh, we don't have a connection. And we can come over here and we can refresh our details view. And we've still got the IP address and the pieces that we need, but we don't have the connectivity because the physical connection is now broken. So we're, we're configured properly in the Windows OS for our, for our network connection, but with the hardware missing, we still don't have a connection and the operating system indicates that to us. That's how interactive the networking settings are in our network labs. You can see end to end whether, you know, how the connection is functioning. 